Hey there, welcome to yet another episode of Drug Calculations Made Easy. I'll be your host, Andrew Woodard. Today we're going to be talking about IV medication infusions, okay? Uh, specifically, we'll be dealing with lidocaine in this problem, although you could use the same method for procainamide or Kool-Aid. I don't care. It doesn't matter what it is. The math is still the same. Uh, there are no hard drug calculations. They're all the same. Uh, it's just numbers. It's math. Um, anyway... I'm sure you've noticed by now that I pretty much stick to just the uh, the formulas when I'm doing these. There are other methods to solving drug calculations, uh, but this is the one I like the best, and since it's my movie, uh, that's the cool part about it being my movie, is I can normally do what I like. <laughs> uh, all kidding aside, uh, look forward in the future for me to explore some uh, different methods of solving these problems. Uh, speaking of problems, let's go ahead and take a look at this one that we're presented with. Uh, we're to give 4 m milligrams per minute of lidocaine, as a drip to a patient weighing 170 kilograms. You are using a micro drop set and you mix 2 grams of medications into 500 cc of fluids. What's the correct drip rate for this patient? Well, before we even begin, before we get out our pencils and calculators, or in my case, uh, orange permanent marker, we have to get some information. Let's look at this question more carefully. First of all, what's it giving us? Okay, well, it's given us 4 milligrams per minute. It's also giving us lidocaine, don't care. Like I said, it could be Kool-Aid, whatever. All right. Uh, as a drip to a patient weighing 170 kilograms. Hey, wait a minute, that's your red flag. This is a, this is a, a lidocaine problem. It has nothing to do with weight. Uh, that's just some kind of clever trickiness that we're going to throw in there to try to throw you off. So what we need to do is say, hey, uh, you go trick somebody else. I'm not falling for your, uh, your foolery this time. All right. Uh, we're using a micro drop set. That's going to be a 60 drops per milliliter set and we mix two grams of medication into 500 cc of fluids okay uh, it may be normal saline, it may be D5W it may be bottled spring water if you're making Kool-Aid uh, it doesn't matter, it's just numbers okay uh, a couple things that stand out uh, first of all we know that uh, since our dose is in milligrams here that this G for grams is not going to jive all right, so at some point in this, we're going to have to convert that grams to milligrams, and we just do that by multiplying by a thousand. But more to that in just a second. Uh, how do we even get this? Where do we get started? Well, first thing you have to know is the formula, and this formula is pretty simple. All right, what you have to know is the IV bag size, and that's going to be in milliliters. We're going to multiply that by the dose that's ordered, which is going to be in milligrams. And then we're going to multiply that by the drip set. And we're going to put all of that over the amount of drug in the bag expressed again in milligrams. Okay, So these two right here kind of work together. All right, so where do we go from here? Well, let's fill in this equation and see where it takes us. All right, so the first thing we have to know is... IV bag size, and they tell us right here it's 500 cc. So we'll just go ahead and slide this up so we can see a little better. 500 milliliters times our dose, which is 4 milligrams per milliliter. Times our drip set, which is 60. And we're going to put all that over our bag size. Oh, I'm sorry, not our bag size. <laughs> we're putting all that over the amount of medications in our bag, which is actually going to be 2,000 milligrams, because remember, we can't put grams in a problem with milligrams, the numbers just don't jive, it doesn't work, you have to convert, okay? So let's go ahead and just multiply straight across. All right, so we'll multiply 500 times 4 times 60, and for those of you keeping score at home, that's going to be equal to 120,000. Put that over 2,000, and that equals... 60 drops per minute. Okay, so let me let me change these numbers around. We'll do the same. We we'll do the same problem, uh, but what we'll do instead is we'll say um, instead of a 500 cc bag, why don't we do this in a 1,000 cc bag? Okay, it's still going to be four milligrams per per minute, right? Haven't changed our drip set, which is still going to be 60. And we haven't changed the amount of our medications, which is going to be 2,000. We'll multiply across, and that's going to give us 240,000 over 2,000. 
All right, remember from the uh, the other lecture, we'll cross out these extra zeros, not necessary. And uh, here, here's another extra zero. You're going to slip by me there, old buddy. Okay, so 240 over 2, it works out to uh, 120. Now, I know you're saying, how on earth am I supposed to uh, measure 120 drops a minute? Well, you're not, silly. So let's put that uh, that medication in something a little more reasonable, something a little more manageable. Let's say we put that medication in 250 cc's of fluid. All right, still going to be 4 milligrams per minute. And still going to have a 60 drop set. And we're going to put that still over 2,000 because we still have that 2 grams of medication. Remember, I haven't changed any of that. So we're going to multiply, make that X a little better, across, make the arrow a little better. And that's going to give us, we'll come down here, it's going to give us 60,000. Bring our 2 down here. Again, we will cross out these zeros because they're unnecessary, right? And now we have 60 over 2, all right, which uh, equals 30. Okay, so right there in the scope of about three minutes, I solved three problems, uh, a couple different sets of numbers. Again, the numbers are completely irrelevant. Um, as long as you have the, the, the size of the fluid bag in, in milliliters or, or cc's, you had your dose in, in minutes, and that's going to have to be in... Uh, and, and, and milligrams or whatever. You have to have your drip set. You have to have your the amount of drug in the bag. All right, maybe given to you in grams, which in that case you have to uh, convert it over to milligrams. The key is all these units have to be the same. So if I told you that uh, the dose was actually going to be in grams, okay, I say the dose is not four milligrams. We'll say the dose is uh, four grams. All right. Well, in that case, all of these numbers have to be adjusted accordingly because all the units must be the same. Again, it's not hard, just numbers. Uh, it's actually lots of fun. I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. And please stay tuned and join me for the next episode.